Hey, welcome to YouTube of RV Max US. What I got behind me is a just came in from that door and is going to is going to get out. Thirty four feet Ventana. Check this out. Thirty four feet. You heard me right. It's a diesel pusher. With a weight distribution, you can also put ten thousand pound uh, towing capacity on the back. It's got a few little scuff mark. We're gonna have that taken care of it before you come pick it up. You see that scratches? It'll be taken care of it. So I just want to show it out. Look at this outside TV. 2020 has only 32,000 miles, about 300 hours on generator. Got a emergency exit door, 360 camera. So he's got cameras all the way around. One in the front, one in the back, and two on the side. So he's got 360 view. That little Bose. It's got a Bose uh, surround sound or whatever you call a little sound bar, a little slide out tray, lots of storage, even though he's 34 feet. Let's see, he's got two or one, let's see. That's a Gerard awning. Well, check this out, get out of town. I just found out that the coach just got here. It's got another Gerard awning, check it out. Man, a 34-footer with the awnings everywhere? Oh, my God. It's got a, a vacuum cleaner, or what do you call that? Central vacuum system. I just see it from here. But it's just exciting. Got an awning, entire length of a coach. This is a Ventana, not a King Air. But come on. Check it out. I love it. It's got a LED lights in it. Man, 34 feet diesel pusher with the goodies of a King Air. Tall ceiling, so it looks like it's not a little bitty motorhome. Well, short, but it's got a big awnings. All right, TV, you're competing with me talking. I'm going to shut you off. But anyways, uh, over here, we got another uh, storage, and we got a nice little Newmar foot mat before we'll go in. Okay. Uh, Two slides here, and you got a full wall slide on the other side. Elko, aluminum wheels, tires, 32,000 miles. You probably got another two, three, four years, depending on how you drive and what do you do. Entrance awning, panoramic, full windshield. I don't see any cracks or star crack. Seems to be in great shape. You see that little antenna on, I mean, not antenna, but the camera in the front, right dead center. We got an 8,000 watts generator under here, only 300 hours. Man, look at this full wall slide. We're probably going to buff it too. I, I see, I'm a nitpicker. I see a little swirl mark. We're going to buff this coach before you pick it up. All right, just came in from a North Carolina. It's a North Carolina coat. This is all your uh, chassis, size few, chassis side fuses. So if your power seat don't work or radio, there's all fuses are right there. Hey, got some extra fuses here. How about that? You might does a pretty good job. All right, we'll keep going. We've got a dual fuel. I think there's your fuel fuel on this side. And see some compartments. Well, it's got eight deep cycle batteries. How about that? Because you have a household refrigerator. And this thing is loaded with a king size bed, household refrigerator, washer, and dryer. Hey, little ding, you get it for free. No big deal, just a little ding, okay? You got Oasis, talking about all the things that are loaded in this motorhome. Washer, dryer, king size bed, Gerard awnings, Oasis. How about that? I mean, we're not going skinny on this thing. I like those LED lights. What's in here is you get it, whatever it is in there. I think it's tire covers. Yep, tire covers. And it's passed through storage there in a little sewer hose. It'll go with it. You use a tire cover, it lengthens your life of tires. It's your typical wash bay, wet bay. You got a power cord reel. How about that, man? Filtration system, outside shower. Man, this thing looks very clean. Previous owner was pretty good. Got a little light here. Okie doke. Elcor wheels look great. Got some awnings here. You see those uh, window awnings? There are two of them. I have not pulled them out. They're manual. You just put a little awning rod, pull it out, hook it up in here. Man, I can't believe how nice this little 20, 34 footer is. 
should be your DEF. That's your DEF tank. Got little uh, stores next to it. Let's see what's in that store. Oh, extra sewer hose. Wow, how about that? Okay. I can't believe it. This Fantana has done it, man. It's got a power cord reel. This is a shorty, but guess what? You pull it out and get it back in. How about that? This thing is loaded. Big surge guard protected, what do you call the automatic transfer switch? Let's see, gotta close it a little hard. Oh, we got a little sewer hose slinky, extra depth, a little extra oil, your emergency um, triangles goes with it. There we go. Come around the back. We're completely made a circle. 360 Cummins. This is a pretty fuel efficient engine. And it's on a Freightliner chassis, which is only 30 miles from her uh, from us. Actually, my dog, my wife's mom's machine, another channel. She's actually a broadcasting a video on our channel. It'll be Freightliner maintenance video. It's a really good video. Uh, let's see, just pull it down and close it. So as I said earlier, 10,000 pound towing with the weight, proper weight distribution. Nice little chrome tip for your exhaust. Here we're on top of this shorty roof. Look at this beautiful one piece fiberglass roof. Two roof airs with a heat, uh, what do you call the heat pump air conditioners. We got some uh, Raymar auto automatic uh, antenna. You got a little in motion type dish. We even have a Sky 3 Wi Fi Ranger, Sky Cube, or oh, three times, not cube. Uh, got little Sirius XM and some other uh, antennas, antenna for uh, radio. Look at this awnings, beautiful awnings, man. And Gerard, Gerard, uh, the height right here, what we got. All the caulking seems to be in good shape on the vent. Uh, the vent fence, the shower looks good. No, no, no damage on the shroud. Got a little bitty solar panel. It'll probably do a little job to keep those batteries charged. But uh, with that say, they don't have a rear ladder, so you got to have one of those or big ladder. You can get up on top. So no worries on the roof. Let's get back down. Come on in this spacious, small little motorhome. Thirty-four feet, but it's got all the goodies of a big motorhome. So both of the the seats swivel around. And come on in this full wall slide on the driver's side. And you've got two slides on the uh, passenger side. And look at this furniture. No peeling going on here, okay? It's in excellent shape. You've got a full uh, mattress that'll pull out. You see right there, you pull it out and make a full mattress here. It's in beautiful shape. It's almost new. I know it's got 32,000 miles, but man, you can't tell. It's just a excellent shape. Um, believe he's one owner. Please ask me for the Carfax. We just got this coach. I don't have a lot of information, uh, but it is should be one owner, could be two, but we'll pull Carfax on it. Uh, oh man, whole bunch of remotes. Oh, I wonder what that is. Something okay. So, got lots of counter space. This thing opens up, and you can put um, another leaf. And there are a couple extra chairs should be in the back. Seats are in great shape. Got a TV that goes up and down. There is a button. And you got some Blu-ray player. All that stuff. Some cabinets up on top. You got a MCD shades. They go on the side. Let me put that TV down. I'm going to show you. So you just push. There we go. TV can go down. And... Uh, I actually can turn it off before it's going down. I mean, it will turn it off. We've got a generator on right now, but I just turned it off. we got all the owner's manuals here and some of the paperwork, service record, whatever is here. 32,000 miles. This thing's just barely broke in. Uh, I mean, this, that is a truck making a, <laughs> a sound. But other than that, we're good here. So, uh, hey, nice little clock. Even though he's got, you know, it's a small little motor, but he's got this 
ceiling accent lights. Uh, beautiful, beautiful condition. Um, kitchen consists of, by the way, you know, it's all electric coach. When you see true induction stove and there is no LP tank on board, it's an all electric coach. That's a nice thing. No LP to worry about. And uh, lots of storage in this little bit of uh, uh, kitchen area. Nice tiling. And when you come here, let's see. This is locked, so let's see. Unlock that way. You got a nice whirlpool refrigerator household. A nice little oh man. Look, we've got a lots of uh we have a lots of uh ice there. And they're still working. Okay, right here. <laughs> so apologize, serious talking smartphones and they talk a lot. So uh here we come in the bathroom. That is an emergency exit. Let me show you how that works. Let's see, you unlock. That's locked. That's unlocked. Oh. Oh, there you go. Okay. I uh, have not used this in a while, so. How about that? You got an exit. It's a fire exit. All right. A nice demonstration on the. And I think here is that there, once you opened up, it does have a, a ladder that goes down so you don't have to jump out. Lots of medicine cabinet room. Nice counter space, some drawers, some storage under there, and they got a nice size shower. Let's check that out. Stop wasting water. Aqua view. Okay, this thing goes up here, and then it's adjustable. It goes up and down, and you got another shower. Man, this is a high, high end thing. And then you know, I'm six feet with my hokas. I'm probably a little taller. My hoka shoes. Pretty good size shower. And this thing opens up this way. You know what it'll do? They call. Remind me. We're gonna get the slides in. Show people the view when it's closed, and you can still get in and open the refrigerator, open the bathroom door. Come on in a bedroom. We got a king size bed. How about this? 34 feet. We got washer dryer, Oasis heating system, king size bed, Gerard awning package. Man, this is just amazing what this thing has packed up in a small coach. Over here, we got another smart TV with another Blu ray player. Uh, and then we have some storage up here. Nice counter space for a vanity area, six big drawers. For those long trips, let's see what's under this king size bed. Two chairs, as we talked about, one here, one there, and these are the extension for those for that uh, booth dinette. How about that? So we got all that stuff here, and uh, let's see. It has a central vacuum system. It should be right here. That's your central vacuum, and this is your the sweep. You know, you just take your I call it a sweeper just put your dirt under the sweeper got a nice size oh i wonder what that is that's like to keep it okay and then you push it down it kind of keeps it up high um some of your newmar bus control we have a nice uh little safe you want to pack your heat or cash and that that side it goes deep let me go on that side and open that up yeah, pretty deep. I think you could put some chairs or long poles. It's just more storage. Got a nice little uh, um, nightstand on each side. Let me turn that light off while I'm in here. And it's got this little... Remember, Nicole, we did that Newmar Base Star. You can upgrade and put those snaps. But they have this little, little uh, stopper that stops while you're traveling. It won't anyways but uh, you know we did that upgrade i just thought of that beautiful woodwork as you expect from newmar you got two windows on a boat side beautiful headboard some more storage up on top and those storage should be pretty deep yeah, indeed and what i just noticed i have my shoes on people that watch our video will take shoes off but this is all 
a uh, tile floor except slide out. It's got a little bit of carpet. There is no hump on this side. So husband, wife sleeping on this side, they can come off and there is no up or down. It's all floor. Look at this even floor because some of those diesel push, you've got a little bump on this side so you can't get down and then get down like a step. This is all same floor. And this is your privacy door, double door that comes and gives you privacy back in the bedroom. And hey, let me show you the last but least. There's a lock. You take the lock off. And you got a nice little pantry next to your refrigerator. How about that? That is a little neat there. So when you close it and you lock it so when you travel, it won't slide out. All right, let's get the slide in and show you the uh, closed view. All right, so with the slide out closed, I can fully access, access my... I can reach everything in a refrigerator. Freezer, maybe not, but well, yes, you can, yes. And then, importantly, you can get in the bathroom. That's important. It opens up completely and you come in and out. So how about that? These are with a slide closed. Now, sometimes people would get the chairs, pick them up, and put it back on the top of the uh, bed. Or you can leave it right here and tie them up. Or you can get them down. And you still have a room to walk around. But if it's in your way and this thing, I think that's about it. So this is, uh, you know, it's still doable. And uh, let's, let's go over to the cockpit area and hit the road. Okay, cockpit area of this 2020 Ventana. Guess what? Got a nice little a charger. Uh, I moved it last time, but it, it's got a charger here, wireless charger. Uh, let's see, we got a backup monitor with a left signal, right signal. And we do have a 360 camera. I just need to turn this on. Let's see. We are in neutral. Uh, let's see. Our coach power was off here. Oh, it's on the, it's on the, uh, there's a coach power off and on button. We have a step cover here. Let's see. While we're here, I'm going to show you the step cover. I like these over pneumatics the air control their valve gets moisture and you got to chain them valve these are electric it goes out and comes up how about that and i can stand here 175 pounds so this is great all right so now we have coach power turned on we could do uh 360 cameras here uh camera camera let's see. it should just uh, come on if you put it in reverse oh there you go you could do the camera too so, you know, sometimes you learn along with the, we get into different coaches. There you go. There is your 360, and I can keep hitting the button, and it gives me different options. And that's the button. It's called 360 Camera Select, which is really nice. You see that motorhome next to us? There's another motorhome here. So when you're going down the road, it shows you right lane, left lane, all that. Uh, coming back to the steering wheel, it's more than a smart wheel. You got the phone, hang up, pick up uh, your um cruise control set this is your um uh what do you call icc interstate commerce commission buttons you know that courtesy light you got your home button here and you can go through all that stuff over here you could zoom in if you could if you got uh by the way we'll take care of the check engine light is there those people are very noticeable we'll check it out it's got 20 30 32,000 miles um this is all your gauges, and it's uh, you can change them around. And uh, let's see, I can change my page there. Look, I can look at the barometer. I can change it to the uh, engine temperature, engine hour meter, barometer pressure. I can keep changing it, all kinds of stuff, oil pressure, RPM, PSI on the oil. You can do all that. You can play with it. Headlight switch, pretty simple. House or boost, chassis boost, dome light, electric mirrors, heated mirrors, Two cup holders. I'm still drinking my hot tea. Mm. All right. Over here is air horn. That's a city horn. That's air horn. We got an equalizer system that is automatic leveling. It'll dump the airs and then it'll uh, level the coach. And last but the least, you see on that side that look like a little brake? You push that down and your steering wheel moves. So it 
telescopic and tilt with that little brake thing. Uh, there is a dimmer or pedal adjustment here. You could adjust the pedal. I have not seen it how they work, but uh, and you got the visor right here. It comes down or shades. It'll come down and uh, your typical uh, cigarette lighter with the two USB plug-ins and air conditioning stuff and uh, your six-bit Allison is in here, okay? And this is your this is your exhaust brake, this stock right here. That's on a high mode. And then your selector is here, gear selector. We're on drive. It says shift inhibit, inhibit because we're on a, let's see, you got to release your brake. And now I'm in drive. And we're ready to go. And rest of the stuff, it's just, you know, you got your power, mirrors, I mean, Windshield washer fluid is being pumped out, and we're using a windshield washer. I mean, you'll have to learn a lot of stuff. All right, let's hit the road, baby. My God, this 34-foot shorty. I feel like I'm driving a sport car. Just turn on a dime, and this Freightliner has got a 55-wheel cut, degree cut. I mean, it can you can turn around in a, I don't know, a, a European street, a, a European street, a road. I've been in Europe driving a motorhome. Those roads and streets are very narrow. <laughs> uh, exhaust brake has been engaged. I'm on this roundabout. Man, this is so easy to drive. You know why I'm saying that? Because those folks have subscribed to our channel. We drive those big bad boys, 45 footers. We love those too. But this thing is just easy peasy. Look at this. I'm not even, don't do this at home. <laughs> I didn't even have my hands on my steering wheel. 40 miles an hour, 43, 44, 45. We're going up the hill here and exhaust brake that high is on. It just, so let's just say we pertain winter mountains. We are in a Conesty mountain here. It's just slowing me down. That's awesome. Okay, uh, I don't know what to say in the test drive. This thing is pretty practically brand new, four years old, 32,000 miles. Uh, you know, uh, we do sell extended warranties. So look at that. You're talking about 360 view. It, it changes while you're on the road. Yes, it does. Look, it does different views. It gives you different views. All right. So here we are on a road test. Let's see. We're going to test the cruise out too real quick. Who's on? And about 30 miles an hour, cruise is set, 34. It, it, so I think usually the threshold is around 30 miles an hour. I'm set at 33, but I gotta stop here. Um, this is just a city drive. I'm not gonna get on highway. It was just driven from the North Carolina beaches, Wilmington area to Greenville, South Carolina. By the way, that check engine light, I'd like to mention it again. It's probably something small. We're going to go through it because I drove it the other day and it was not on. Uh, we have a computer. We can decode it and give you the code. Uh, probably something minor. Whatever it is, we'll take care of it. Uh, other than that, uh, cruise works. Exhaust brakes works. Wiper blades works. You see it. Uh, it's got a 800 pound feet of a torque with a 360 Cummins. Uh, 10,000 towing with a properly weight distribution hitch. So, uh, and this coach, to sum it up, man, it's a 34-footer, but it's got the Gerard awning, entire length of the coach. You've got the washer dryer stack. You've got the king-size bed. You've got Oasis hydronic heating. You've got power cord reels for power cord and a wa and and, and a city water hose i mean it's loaded to the teeth it is not your little entry level coach and it's a 34 feet did i tell you that <laughs> listen we appreciate you guys watching our videos and uh those people have been watching our videos for years a lot of them are coming around buying the coaches from us that's a lot of compliment to us we're not perfect we're a small family business in greenville south carolina our airport is gsp that's greenville spartanburg International. I think Nicole just talked to somebody getting ready to come from Chicago to buy one of our coats. Thanks to our subscribers, or if you are not, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We we'll appreciate you with that. 
Beautiful, sunshiny day, South Carolina. So, Chenny's going off there. I'll see you on the next video.